Hello viewers, uh, Lucy Brown of Drive Tribe thinks it would be quite interesting if I responded to some of the comments made online on YouTube to my recent videos. Now, I should say that those of us who are on TV or do YouTube or write articles for newspapers or even appear in newspapers, stories about riding a bicycle with bad hair or whatever, pretend that we don't look at the comments, but we do. Of course we do, and sometimes we're even irked enough to respond to them. So I haven't seen any of these, they're on this laptop. I'm going to open the lid now to see what people have been saying about... James gave us a tour of his new pup. This is a while back. Jeff H says, James May has almost completed his physical transformation into Brian May. People keep saying that about Brian May as if it might be an insult of some sort. It possibly is to Brian May, but if people think I look a bit like Brian May, well, I'm absolutely delighted because he's a lovely bloke. It's like when the, um, the Hyundai S Coupe came out and people said, oh, it looks a bit like a Ferrari 458, as if that's a criticism. Imagine if somebody said, oh, Ben over there, you know, he looks a bit like Brad Pitt. So, Cyril, cool, I don't even know how to say that, Anikosh? Apologies if that's wrong. This is my local pub. I have so missed it. It's the best pub in Wiltshire. Well done, James May, for buying half of it. You're quite right. It is the best pub in Wiltshire and we have the best chef. Bear Bailey One. Rename the lose room to the throne room you're welcome. Incorrect apostrophe. Um, we actually call it lockdown now, the bogs. But thank you for your suggestion. Captain Awesome. That's a bit like Skoda calling their car the superb. It's for us to judge, really, not them. I'm surprised how modern it looks. Why are you surprised how modern it looks? I thought James was once an older looking pub. It seems he likes history. Well, yes, I do quite like history. I'm quite interested in it, but that doesn't mean you have to live in it. Does Captain Awesome wash his clothes in a zinc bucket with a stick? Because that's what they did in history. Callum Riker. He, I oh, know this is a laptop, isn't it? He should have changed the name to the Weathered Spaniel. Yes. Thank you. Violilla96. This is most James May thing that James May could do. Possibly. Praxix. Soon on... Isn't that something you do when you've got a bad back? Soon on Kitchen Nightmare, Gordon Ramsay tries to save the Royal Oak. It doesn't need saving, actually. It made £18 profit last month, so swivel on that one. Reese Clark. All in favour of James May starting a series where he interviews celebrities while serving them their favourite drink in his pub, say I. Nope, no interest. Okay, we're moving on now to James May's first look at the 2000 horsepower Lotus Evaya. 4,877 comments on this. People are interested in electric cars and the electric future, despite what a lot of car enthusiasts, the perverts, remember, think. Uh, Joachim says, James May is a master observer. I'm not sure about that, but thank you. He puts into words what we all feel, but cannot crystallize in our minds. That is very flattering. Uh, I'm not sure you're exactly right, but thank you anyway. Kathy S, please, in block capitals, will James please, again, take us on a tour of his shirt closet? No. A, because there isn't a shirt closet. There's a wardrobe with a few shirts in and quite a lot of them on the floor, and you don't want to see a tour of it anyway. Jonathan Pencharts. Pencharts. Honestly, comma, correctly is James May is quietly one of the funniest people on TV, in inverted commas. Thank you. His deadpan delivery is borderline genius. I don't think so. That's just the way I am. Have you got any nasty comments about me? Because they're much more amusing than people trying to be nice. They're coming up. Okay. Asio Q says, the doors are slower than that of James's hearse ambulance. Yeah. Oh, I well, that's, that would be an interesting comparison. It's got, you got another message, Lucy. Yes, the, the door on the hearse was quite slow, but it had to be geared that way because it was very heavy and it wouldn't, the motor wouldn't have been able to cope with it otherwise. And anyway, the person going in it is... Oh no, they're not dead, are they? Because it's actually been converted to an ambulance. So actually you need the door to open as quickly as possible. Unknown. It looks like a very aerodynamic block of cheese. Do you think he, she was just looking for an opportunity to use the word cheese? Rider M, it's like chilling out with an old mate watching this, lol. James May reviews his own cars, Tesla Model S versus Toyota Mirai. 5,341 comments. Cam D says, I would watch a show simply of James debating various topics with himself. Have you got any rude comments? Where are the ones that say James looks, you know, 
Well, you know what it says. I don't want to put you in a bad mood. Well, it wouldn't put me in a bad mood. I don't care. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I'm used to people being horrible about me. James is a treasure that should be protected. Lucy, this is all people being nice to me. Michelle Arian, Arians. If everyone argued with themselves the way James argues with himself around all their issues, including political ones, then the world would be a much better place. Sorry, I'm just having a skittle. Simoka James Firi, the Yota, the Tez, the Mishizzle. Adding these to my vocab. I thought they were quite old things, actually. Maybe not. Rich 1000, James is really good. He should be a car journalist of some sort. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Iman, I suppose that is. I love how May is talking about how fast the Tesla is while getting passed by a 14 years old Opel Astra LOL. I'm not familiar with the Opel Astra LOL. It could be a very high powered one, for all I know. Morton Pradscard. James talking to himself before COVID-19 was even a thing. Do people, oh, I suppose because you talk to yourself in COVID because you can't go and see your mates or your loved ones. Or, uh. Lucy, this is the worst idea you've ever had. Why didn't you find all the really rude or, or controversial comments. So that was a selection of, of quite nice complimentary comments, um, which I don't think are, I mean, they're very nice. Thank you very much for leaving them. But I don't think they make particularly good content here. So I'm going to ask Lucy Brown to pull her finger out, frankly, and go away and find some rude ones. See you in part two, like, comment, subscribe. Sick, did you uh, say? Yeah. <laughs>